What's up everyone, back for another beer review, and today I'll be reviewing yet another beer from the Yingling Brewery, and they're out of Pottsville, Pennsylvania, and this is their Bach beer, the 2024 release. So this is a German style Bach that comes in at 5.3% alcohol by volume, no IBUs list in time of review, and this can is just over five weeks old. So this year, Yingling is celebrating their 195th anniversary, and they decided to bring back their Bach beer. Now, the last time they released this beer was in 2014, so 10 years ago, and I did not try it back then, so this is the first time that I'm having this beer, and I'm super excited to give it a go. So yeah, I'm gonna crack this one open, get in the glass, and see what we got going on here. So when it comes to this beer, I'm probably in my mind gonna compare this to uh, Genesee's Springbok because they release that every single year um, in late winter into early spring here in the West New York area. And honestly, um, it's one of the best bang for bucks when it comes to like a Bach or even like a German lager. Um, you know, Genesee will put those out. Typically 12 packs are like, they used to be like nine to 10 bucks. Now they're more like 10 to 11 bucks. And that's hard to beat when you're talking about less, less than $1 a can. Now, why am I comparing it to Jenny in my own mind? It's just because, you know, Ling, uh, Yingling's a little bit cheaper. You know, when you go to the store, and while this was not as cheap as the Genesee, it'd be nice to have another option as far as a Bach goes. So anyway, this a poured out, um, typically like a Bach, it has like a deep amber color, like a deep, like a nice brown color. On camera, it's probably going to look darker than it is in person. I hold it up to light. Yeah, it has like a deep amber, almost like ruby red kind of color. A finger of a straight up tan colored head. It's soap sudsy looking, which is fine. Had decent carbonation when I was pouring it, although it's a little bit darker. It's hard to see, like. I should put it up to the light. So I'm gonna pour the rest of it in here because I was kind of worried about that head potentially going over um, the glass and I don't think I should have had that issue. But again, in the glass, I think it looks really nice. I'm using this can glass from Hamburg because I used it for uh, a Yingling beer last time I reviewed, I believe, and I like it. So anyway, let's get a nose. Yeah, so kind of what you want from a box. It has that toasted, I always get, with box, typically like toasted bread, and a lot of times toasted brown bread, so a darker bread, like a pumpernickel or something like that. But it has like a, a mixture of like a sourdough, pumpernickel, but it's toasted. A little bit of caramel and toffee, dark fruits as well. Very slight on the dark fruits though, like a, a little bit of like a plum, maybe a little bit of a touch of a raisin, black cherry, but very minute. Nice orchard fruit kind of aroma too, like a, I like to say a lot of times a um, red apple core, so uh, closer to the core of a red apple. A very slight, like, floral, grassy hop character. You know what? It smells pretty fucking good. Let's get into it. Cheers, everyone, or should I say, prost. Yeah, I could... This is a beer that is for me in terms of what I want out of a lager. I, I like the darker lagers, and this just has a nice flavor. Very crushable. This is better than I anticipated. And I try to try not to go into you know a lot of reviews with preconceived notions. I say a lot, most, but it's hard sometimes, right? Depending on the style. And it's Yingling, it's a seasonal. Am I expecting like the world? No, but I think they delivered on kind of what I expected and then some. Buying this one a little bit bigger than I anticipated. This is more approaching medium body. You might even say full bodied for a 5.3% German style Bach has a nice heft to it for the style. It's not like super heavy or anything, but it's just it's a little bigger, it's not watery. And then you throw in the mouthfeel, which is crisp, it's smooth, has a little bit of creaminess to it, but it's really crisp and smooth. I really like the body and mouthfeel. The taste isn't overly complex, but what's here is really nice. Again, the nose carries over about 95%, right at the forefront. It's a lot of, to me, again, toasted brown bread. It turns in a little bit of like caramel and toffee. There's a ton, to, to me, like a touch of like a cocoa powder, a little bit of like a bittering, uh, you know, dark chocolate, maybe like even like a 70, 80% cacao bar. The dark fruits aren't as noticeable in the taste for me, um, really almost at all. It was more in the aromatics, but that orchard fruit, a little bit of like an apple or pear is definitely uh, noticeable on the palate for myself. And then the finish has this very slight like floral, um, grassy touch of earthiness. You know, not big. This is a style that you're not supposed to have a big hop character, and it doesn't. It has a semi to full on dry finish. It's mild to moderately bitter, very well balanced. I will say this 
it's nice. It's a really nice, well-made um, German style Bach. Is it going to blow anyone's socks off? Probably not. But when you start talking about the value and availability of this one, I think you start to realize, yeah, for the price point and where you can get this one, I think it's a pretty good value. Um, you know what? This is this is this is actually pretty good. So I'm going to give Yingling Bach beer the uh, 2024 release. I am going to give this a struggle with. I'm struggling between a high 375 and a low 4. I'm going to go low 4. I'm going to go 3.9. I think that that's where this one lands. This is one of the better seasonals I've had from Yingling. Um, maybe one of the better bills, uh, beer, bills, one of the better beers uh, personally that I've had. Like, this is a really well done German style Bach. I'm digging this. So, yeah, 3.9 out of 5. So, uh, price point availability. Now, here's the interesting thing on the availability of this. You can go to their website. They have an article and they also have a page for it, and they both have different uh, availabilities. Like the page itself does not list New York State as being available, but then you go to the article they have and it does. I think they're in nine or 10 different states for this beer specifically. There are some states that won't get distro. So your best bet is to go to the website, They or you just type in Gingling Bach beer into Google and it will show the page on their website. And it'll also show the article. See if it is being distributed in your area. If so, you should see it. If not, then you won't. Um, I know some of maybe their newer um, Markets might not be seeing this, but here in the Buffalo, New York area, we definitely got it. And the price point, as far as I know, this is only in 12 packs. I only saw in 12 packs, and here it was $15.99. So again, go back to the Genesee. I was talking, you know, I think it, I think it's like $10.99 now, or maybe like $11.49 for that Springbok. You're talking, you know, five, four and a half, five bucks less, uh, 12 pack. Um, I think I would take the Genesee because of that price point if you're here in the West New York area. But if not, this is still pretty good value. You're just paying just over a dollar for a can, whatever it would be, a dollar twenty-five or a dollar thirty-three. And for something I gave a three point nine to, I think that's a really um, good score. And you don't see a lot of box from uh, bigger breweries that you know are going to be that in that price range. So I would say if you like Yingling and you like box. Check this one out, especially if you can get a single, if you have to buy a 12 pack. If you do like the style, I, I don't think you'll have an issue with it. But for me, I think it's uh, well worth it. 5.3%. Yeah, it's a buck. You really can't tell. So if you've had this one before, post in the comment section. Let me know what you think about it. And if you had this one back in 2014, what did you think about this one uh, back then compared to now? Is it the same thing? Do you remember? I mean, again, it's a 10 year difference. So your palate's probably going to be a little bit different. Your memory a little bit shoddy. But do you remember it being very comparable? Because I would have loved to have it back in 2014 and my memory comparing it to this one. I did not have that chance. So like I said, seek this one out if you like Yingling or Box in general. I think it's pretty well made for a German style Bach and I'm gonna go drink the rest of this and enjoy every second of it. So appreciate everybody stopping by for another beer review here on the Beer Patrol. This was another Shelfie a beer review. Yingling qualifies as a Shelfie uh, brewery and I think this is one of the better Shelfie beers in this style that I've had in quite a while. To the next one. Cheers, prost.